Welcome. Welcome to this place in cyberspace, which we sometimes refer to as the virtual mission chapel of the Archangel Uriel, part of the Temple of Gaia. Whether this looks like something you've avoided or something you miss, we hope you will find what you're looking for while you're here. We are omnidenominational. We don't teach you our path. We help you find your own path. If you have a path, we hope we can add some dimension to it while you're here. And you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. If you don't have a spiritual path, we can help you find yours. If you once did have a spiritual path, but you were driven away by issues, especially issues having to do with other people on that path, we hope that you can come here for the healing you need and the restoration you deserve. Above all, welcome. meet, less it be. This is a special Mass for the shutout. It wasn't on the schedule, but it wasn't on my schedule to receive an email that cancer had returned to Morning Glory Zell. And so this is my contribution to the rolling thunder so that all of you can join in. Merry meet and blessed be. I consecrate this circle of power to the ancient gods. Here may they manifest and bless their child. I consecrate this circle of power to the ancient gods. Here may they manifest and bless their child. I call upon you, powers of air, to witness this rite and to guard this circle. I call upon you, powers of fire, to witness this rite and to guard this circle. I call upon you, Powers of water to witness this rite and to guard this circle. I call upon you, powers of earth, to witness this rite and to guard this circle. Hamari Nodri, Helgeveta Dark of Vert. Hamari aus tri helgeveta da akhalfet. Hamari sudri helgeveta da akhalfet. Hamari vestri helgeveta da akhalfet. Hamaru famia helgeveta da akhalfet. Hamaru tamia helgeveta da akhalfet. Hamar helgeveta da akhalfet. Umikaki Miras Gardarak Midgard. The circle is bound with power all round. Within it I stand with protection at hand. Under just about any other circumstance. I'd offer you a reading from some sacred text, some revered text. Could be the Havamal, Heinz Kringle, Old Testament, New Testament, something from the Celts, who knows. And then there would come the homily.
Well, we don't have a very well developed lectionary yet. So it's not like if I were a Catholic or a Lutheran or an Episcopalian, just reach over and pull out the right book and, oh, here's what we do for healing. One of these days I'll have that list. But I haven't developed it yet. There's something else that's in the works that's going to make sure that I do, but I don't right now. The best thing that I can offer you is to look at the robes and the vestments that I'm wearing. In a lot of traditions, liturgical colors have significance. Well, here I am, and I don't have to grab a list that was handed down to me by somebody higher up in my hierarchy, because for all intents and purposes, except for the mentoring of one particular person, I am the top. I get to call the shots. The one thing that comes to mind with healing is cleansing. If you're talking about a physical healing, you want to cleanse the person's body of the disease. And so, here I am, with everything that can be white is white, for exactly that reason. And after the communion itself, I'll be offering some prayers. If you want to make use of these prayers for yourself, it's in Selva Ravenwolf's book on angels. And I would recommend it to anyone. And if you read it, and I mean read it, you'll see why I think so highly of Silver Ravenwolf. Well, you'll see one of the reasons. There's a few others. Including the fact that I give to her some of the credit for the fact that I met Lady Stormy. So, yeah, Silver Raven Wolf's book on angels. What I'm going to be taking from here came from there. And it's worked before. And I want it to work again. Morning Glory. I can't say I walk in her sp spiritual footsteps. There's some things about her path that don't quite match with mine. Well, there are some things about my path that I'm sure don't match with hers. But I've gained a lot from her. And this is part of my return to her. And my way of saying thanks, not only on my behalf, but on behalf of everybody that she's helped. And that's quite a long list. Since the dawn of time, people have sought communion with the divine, and the divine has sought to facilitate that communion. Toward that end, the divine has acquired many faces and facets, so that over the generations, people would be able to envision and commune with the divine in terms which they could understand. 
now as we come to know better the ways of our ancestors and the ways of others? We strive to see the unity behind the innumerable faces and facets of the divine. Like a diamond, the divine has facets, each facing a particular direction and having its own characteristics. But each facet is connected to each other facet by the rest of the diamond, such that no facet can claim to be the entire diamond, and that diamond is the divine, that most high God, whose first priest known to us by name was Melchizedek. I stand here before the Most High God as a mortal among mortals. I am a priest because the Divine called me to be a priest, and I hold myself accountable to the Divine for my deeds as a priest, and I stand with the priests and priestesses who have come before me in proclaiming faith in the Divine. I believe in the unnamed God, the Bornest One, from whom all else, divine and mundane, was created, and in the many facets of the Godhead, named and without names, seen as gods, goddesses, or otherwise, which reach out to receive each person within mankind in communion, each according to his or her perception and understanding of the divine. And I believe in the archangels Raphael, Gabriel, Mikael, and Ariel, and all other angels, known and unknown. And I believe in one earth, the mother of us all, and in one womb, wherein all men and women are begotten, and wherein they shall rest. And I believe in many paths to the divine, all leading to the divine. And I believe in the gathering of people of like mind, and the power and energy they raise when gathered for like purpose. And I believe in the communion of saints, and for as much as food and drink are transmuted to us daily into spiritual substance, I believe in the miracle of the Mass. And I confess one baptism of wisdom, whereby we accomplish the miracle of incarnation. And I confess my life, one individual and eternal, which was and is, and is to come. So will it be. So we proclaim the great mystery of the divine. A God is born. A God lives. A God has died. A God is born again. A God lives again. O Father Odin, Lady Freya, El Shaddai, Mar Yeshua, Lady Hedvig, Lady Caridwin, Raphael, Gabriel, Mikhail, Uriel, and all others whose task or gift is to heal. I invite you and welcome you to this temple, to this circle, and to this rite. I welcome you, and as a token of that welcome, in accordance with the, with the ancient ways, I break bread with you. bid you welcome in reverence and respect, but also in friendship. I welcome you in friendship, and as a token of that friendship and to bind that friendship, I offer drink.
Behold the feast with which we welcome the divine. Take of the bread and of the cup, and feast and celebrate, as the divine within welcomes the divine without. Thank you and we welcome you. And we come together to offer this for morning glory's help. High priestess, teacher, and friend. In love and light, in love and light, Raphael, angel so bright in circle, morning glory with healing light. In love and light, in love and light, Raphael, angel so bright, in circle, morning glory with healing light. In love and light, in love and light. Raphael, angel so bright, encircle morning glory with healing light. Hast thou recovered health and goddess? I will lead thee again to the maiden mother and crone. Therefore so help thee our goddess readily. And thou shalt be blessed, as well as the cakes and ale, which Aradia offered to her followers before she left them. Therefore, so help you, maiden, mother, and crone. So mote it be. And these signs shall follow those that believeth in my name. They shall cast out demons. And they shall speak in new tongues. And if they drink anything deadly, it shall not harm them. And they shall lay hands upon the sick, and they shall recover. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hail, Lady, full of grace, the God is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, the consort and son. Holy Goddess, Mother of Earth, work your mystery for your children now and in the hour of our need so mote it be atta malkuna vega bura vega dula lehola amen We thank you for morning glory's healing. And we thank you for the fullness of her healing. So mote it be. O 
forth in peace, O powers of air, my thanks and my blessings. Go forth in peace, O powers of fire, my thanks and my blessings. Go forth in peace, O powers of water, my thanks and my blessings. Go forth in peace, O powers of earth, my thanks and my blessings. To all beings and powers of the visible and invisible depart in peace. May there always be love, peace, and harmony between us. My thanks and my blessings. The circle is open, yet ever it remains a circle around and through me, always, flows its magical power. So mote it be. Uriel's Gifts and the Secrets in Plain Sight are sponsored by the Temple of Gaia. Your spiritual journey is exactly that, a journey. Like any other journey, there's a beginning point, there's a destination, and there's every step from the start to the finish. Religion is like underwear. What works well for me might be inappropriate for someone else, including you. I can guarantee you that no matter how similar our paths are, they will not be identical. At Temple of Gaia, we don't train you to our path. We show you how to find and pursue your own path. We also help you prepare for your ministry. Prepare, yes, no matter how far along you are, there will always be something coming to prepare for. Ministry, we all have a ministry, beginning with our own ministry to ourselves. Above all, we provide a great place to come together and to share. We're located in Collingdale, Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia, and wherever cyberspace can be reached. Temple of Gaia is a Wiccan church incorporated under the laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. To learn more, visit our website at templeofgaiainc.org. That's T-E-M-P-L-E-O-F-G-A-I-A-I-N-C dot O-R-G. We also have a meeting place in cyberspace at templeofgaia.ning.com. If you like this, you might also enjoy our weekly audio podcast, The Secrets in Plain Sight, available through iTunes or almost any place else where free podcasts are available for download including its own website at secrets.libsyn.com. Thank you for coming. I hope that you've found something here that can help, perhaps a seed that might take hold and grow to your benefit. Feel free to return at any time. We intend to always have something for you here. Blessed be. This has been a presentation of the Wise Ones Net. Merry part and blessed be.